Nigel Balaha quotes 29 to 42 of Imam Ali as Amir al mutminan commander of the faithful. 29. Take warning. He has not exposed so many of your sinful activities that it appears as if he has forgiven you, it may be that he has given you time to repent. 30. When Imam Ali was asked about faith in religion, he replied that the structure of faith is supported by four pillars endurance, conviction, justice and jihad. Endurance is composed of four attributes, eagerness, fear, piety and anticipation of death, so whoever is eager for paradise will ignore temptations, whoever fears the fire of hell will abstain from sins, whoever practices piety will easily bear the difficulties of life and whoever anticipates death will hasten towards good deeds. Conviction has also four aspects to guard oneself against infatuations of sin, to search for explanation of truth through knowledge, to gain lessons from instructive things and to follow the precedent of the past people, because whoever wants to guard himself against vices and sins will have to search for the true causes of infatuation and the true ways of combating them out and to find those true ways one has to search them with the help of knowledge, whoever gets fully acquainted with various branches of knowledge will take lessons from life and whoever tries to take lessons from life is actually engaged in the study of the causes of rise and fall of previous civilizations. Justice also has four aspects depth of understanding, profoundness of knowledge, fairness of judgment and dearness of mind, because whoever tries his best to understand a problem will have to study it, whoever has the practice of studying the subject he is to deal with, will develop a clear mind and will always come to correct decisions, whoever tries to achieve all this will have to develop ample patience and forbearance and whoever does this has done justice to the cause of religion and has led a life of good repute and fame. Jihad is divided into four branches, to persuade people to be obedient to Allah, to prohibit them from sin and vice, to struggle, in the cause of Allah, sincerely and firmly on all occasions and to detest the vicious. Whoever persuades people to obey the orders of Allah provides strength to the believers, whoever dissuades them from vices and sins humiliates the unbelievers, whoever struggles on all occasions discharges all his obligations and whoever detests the vicious only for the sake of Allah, then Allah will take revenge on his enemies and will be pleased with him on the day of judgment. 31. There are four causes of infidelity and loss of belief in Allah, hankering after whims, a passion to dispute every argument, deviation from truth, and dissension, because whoever hankers after whims does not incline towards truth, whoever keeps on disputing every argument on account of his ignorance, will always remain blind to truth, whoever deviates from truth because of ignorance, will always take good for evil and evil for good and he will always remain intoxicated without righteous guidance. And whoever makes a breach with Allah and his messenger, his path becomes difficult, his affairs will become complicated and his way to salvation will be uncertain. Similarly, doubt has also four aspects absurd reasoning, fear, vacillation and hesitation, and unreasonable surrender to infidelity, because one who has accustomed himself to unreasonable and absurd discussions will never see the light of truth and will always live in the darkness of ignorance. One who is afraid to face facts of life, death and the life after death will always turn away from ultimate reality, one who allows doubts and uncertainties to vacillate him will always be under the control of Satan and one who surrenders himself to infidelity accepts damnation in both the worlds. 32. A virtuous person is better than virtue and a vicious person is worse than vice. 33. Be generous but not extravagant, be frugal but not miserly. 34. The best kind of wealth is to give up inordinate desires. 35. One who says unpleasant things about others, will himself quickly become a target of the scandal. 36. One who hopes inordinately, impairs his deeds. 37. When Imam Ali, marching at the head of his army towards Syria, reached Ambar, the landlords of the place came out to meet him in zeal of their love, faithfulness and respect, no sooner had they seen Imam Ali they got down from their horses and started running in front of him. Imam Ali asked the reason of their strange actions. They replied that it was their custom to show their love and respect in that way. Imam Ali replied, By Allah, by your action you do no good whatsoever to your rulers but you tire yourself and put yourself in toils in this world and in trouble in the next. How unfortunate is that exertion, which brings harm here and in the hereafter and how useful is that ease which keeps you in comfort in this world and away from the hell in the next. 38. Imam Ali once said to his son Imam Hassan, My son, learn four things from me and through them you will learn four more. If you keep them in mind your actions will not bring any harm to you, the greatest wealth is wisdom, the greatest poverty is stupidity, the worst unsociable is that of vanity and self-glorification, and the best nobility of descent exhibits itself in politeness and in refinement of manner. 
The next four things, my son, are, do not make friendship with a fool because when he will try to do you good he will do you harm, do not make a miser your friend because he will run away from you at the time of your dire need, do not be friendly with a vicious and wicked person because he will sell you and your friendship at the cheapest price and do not make friend of a liar because like a mirage he will make you visualize very near the things which lie at a great distance and will make you see at the great distance the things which are near to you. 39. Recommended prayers cannot attain the pleasures of Allah for you when obligatory prayers are left unattended. 40. A wise man first thinks and then speaks and a fool speaks first and then thinks. 41. A fool's mind is at the mercy of his tongue and a wise man's tongue is under the control of his mind. 42. One of the companions of Imam fell ill. Imam Ali called upon him and thus advised him, be thankful to Allah. He has made this illness a thing to atone your sins because a disease in itself has nothing to bring reward to anyone, it merely expiates one's sins and so far as reward is concerned, one has to earn it with his good words and good deeds. The Almighty Lord grants paradise to his creatures on account of their piety and noble thoughts. Please like and share this video so I can make more videos like this.